The PC's Limited Turbo PC. A straight from the PC XT clone factory to you. This is a Dell made computer before the days of Dell computers. Dell's first systems were called PC's Limited, and this model is the Turbo. Initially assembled by hand during around the 1984 85 years in a college dorm and sold to students. This idea took off and soon led to direct to customer sales through advertising. Here is a brief tour of the system before I received it. The FCC's website shows this model was granted authorization in late 1986. The video card was marked 7th week 1988, so I guess this unit sold early to mid-88. Looking at the list of computers, there appears to be some kind of change mid-production of the Turbo PC. See lines 2 and 4. Also note that between lines 6 and 7, the ID change from PCLTD to DELL. -L. And by the way, in line 1, what is an EGADS? One last thing, here are two labels from the back of two different systems. What's up with the zip codes? One is an empty oil field the other research buildings. Finally on my bench, like all systems, I tear it down for a thorough inspection and cleaning. The motherboard differs from the one I was expecting. A X Golden Turbo board complete with empty sockets for the non-existent BASIC and ROM, that's an IBM thing, is used here. A floppy drive controller. I substituted a VGA card for the original mono display adapter. I spent a few hours trying to track down the source of this error message, which involved removing and reseeding every chip, reducing the memory to a minimum, substitution, and every combination of switch possible. I believe, based on award error codes, the keyboard controller the interrupt controller or the interval timer is the culprit. As the computer seems to work, I set the self test to off and pressed on. This is Microsoft's Diagnostics. With everything working normal, I replaced the 8088 with an NEC V20 installed a SPI 200 SCSI card see my other videos on this card cabled to a digital branded SCSI drive hooked up a three and a half inch high density drive which by the way works perfectly as a double density drive using double density disks and rebooted 
a few partitions, some formatting, system transfer, and I was ready to get down to business. Let's see, I haven't tried turbo mode yet. Um, control Alt minus equals turbo. There we are, 8 megahertz. Some benchmarking. A quick comparison. A few minutes of gaming. Here is a Diamond Speedstar Plus 16-bit card proving it can be just as happy in an 8-bit slot. This is how it looked during most of the testing. Seen here is the Paradise VGA card on the power supply while the Diamond card was being tested. The final configuration has the 5 and a quarter drive on top. The hard drive on the bottom with a Seagate look-alike dummy faceplate with working LED connected to the controller card and a full height blank plate on the right. Uh, look, whoever designed this case made no provisions for four half height drives. How do you secure the opposite pair of drives? Uh, you old timers know what I mean?